Good day, folks. Uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, today. We have with us Aswar Shah. Uh, came to Canada first time 2013. Eventually landed in 2014. Uh, been here in the field of uh, computer networks and cloud computing. So, without having me to introduce him any further, let me give him the opportunity to get started. So, Aswar, if you can get started by telling us a little bit about yourself first. Assalamualaikum. Uh, and Eid Mubarak, Sadbai. And Eid Mubarak to everyone who's celebrating today. Um, yep, so my name is Aswar Shah, and uh, I came to Canada back in 2013. I uh, did my first landing as an immigrant, and then just because I had been coming back and forth as a child, uh, I had some family in the western side of Canada, so I did my initial landing, which was a very short one for around two to three weeks, but then went back and then just decided to move into Canada full time in 2014. And since then, I've been, uh, you know, full-time working and uh, living in Toronto, Canada. Interesting. So I know you you went through the path of doing your MBA, the whole journey. Would you expand a little bit about on your whole journey? Yeah, sure. So I'm a bachelor's in electrical and electronic engineering, and uh, my majors was in telecom. And uh, in the very start of my career, I spent around five years in the telco space in Dubai between Dew and Atisabat, which are the two telecom operators in UAE. So I had that background. And when I was migrating to Canada, I was fortunate enough to get a job at Juniper Network, which is a Silicon Valley company. So back in the day when I was migrating to Canada, I started exploring the opportunities within Juniper Networks to see if there was any potential opportunity with Juniper Canada. And uh, I was fortunate to get an opportunity with Juniper at TELUS in Toronto. So moved in uh, within Juniper Canada and then continued to work with Juniper Canada with TELUS account. However, it was a stretch of around seven to eight years being with Telco Space. So I started to look around as to how can I diversify my experience? How can I go about you know, business slash technical kind of space? And that's where I started to explore to go back to school. And I joined the executive MBA program with Rotman, which is uh, one of the you know, uh, school with University of Toronto. So did my executive MBA from 2019 uh, to 2020, and that was a 13-month program. So kind of incorporated that and then made some moves within different business units within Juniper Networks and then left off Juniper Networks last year. And now I'm working full-time with Google Cloud as a cloud solution architect. Oh, very interesting journey. So in terms of the whole uh, cloud space that you are in right now, where do you see the industry uh, headed <laughs> or, and what potential do you see in that space? Yeah, so it's an interesting one, and I get asked these questions on different platforms and in different community settings. So the way I see cloud, um, I think it's just, just going to grow into different business. And the reason why is that because um, everything is getting digitized. There's a lot of industries which are kind of looking at cloud as an enablement for their IT infrastructure. And there are some SaaS offerings. There are some you know cost savings. There are different business models that are kind of, you know, um, taking the direction of cloud for all the reasons that everybody wants to have an agile environment. Everybody wants to go and adopt technology. There's all this innovation dilemma where different IT enterprises are looking at cloud as a, as a platform where they can enable their operations, be it IT or be it non-IT. So where it will go, I will only say that it's only going to expand and it's going to diversify in different business units, especially when you look at the technologies like blockchain and AI and ML and the whole thirst for data. I think cloud has just started. So it's going to grow and it's going to stay here for, I think, for at least for my lifetime. So I'm going to ask you another question, which you might have a biased answer to it just because you are with Google. But in a comparison with the other product offerings, how do you think the Google platform uh, overtakes the other ones? And I know this is going to be a little bit biased answer, but we will see how it goes. Yeah, so no, I, I will give you my honest answer and you probably will see that it's not going to be biased. I think it's more about you know, uh, being multi-cloud. So yes, Google has some strengths in some products. There's always going to be competition and there's always going to be the sense of customers not tying themselves to a one particular brand. So I think it will vary from an industry to industry. A lot of the industries who likes to go in a retail space will, will want to avoid, uh, you know, some or the other business units with AWS just because it's a direct competition. The other industries who might want to go digitize into more cloud native solutions might look into, into microservices. And I don't want to be sounding too technical here, but generally I would say it's a it's a big pie and everybody's going to take a small piece of a pie. So it's going to be all three clouds or more. 
but generally, it's going to be dependent upon what industry you're looking at and how the industry is evolving in certain technologies. So I think it's going to be a share of all the three or more clouds. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, one last question for you, Asper, and I know you kind of engage a lot with the community and helping them out uh, and helping folks uh, in cloud computing space and helping folks in their career advice. Uh, in terms of that and other things, uh, like first question is, uh, what advice would you give to other people who would like to give back to the community? And the second one is that, what advice you would like to give to those folks who are moving into Canada and uh, looking for their uh, professional lives? Yeah, I think it's an interesting one. So to answer your first question, what advice would I give to the folks who want to give back to the community? I think you're doing a tremendous job in terms of having these WhatsApp groups, having these kind of seminars or virtual events. I think anyone who has gone through a path of you know, learning or failures, I think it's really important to not only share your successes, but also share your failures because you do learn from others' failures. So I think for anyone who want to give back, just make sure that you're sharing your stories and at any point in time, if somebody's asking questions, take out time to go and listen to them, kind of give them any advice. They do not have to follow that, but at least they're going to learn something from it. So I think that's something that I have done and I've seen that people have found it helpful in terms of growing their network, expanding the opportunities around, you know, sharing knowledge among each others. And uh, I think what the new immigrants should be doing, I think just explore and start asking questions. I think there's no right or wrong question to ask. Uh, if you're asking a question to a wrong person, perhaps there's a chance that the person might direct you to another resource who might be helpful. So I think it's just about engaging. And now with this COVID times, I think it's more than essential to understand these, these social media platforms like LinkedIn and uh, you know Signal, WhatsApp, all of these tools are there for you to interact within the community. So I think it's really, really, really important to, you know, to not shy away, explore LinkedIn, start to do the homework if you have no clue. And if you have some aspirations, start to look around and see who is kind of working in that space to kind of understand what are the pros and cons and then decide. It's only going to help. It's only going to make your life better. So don't shy away and start asking questions to anyone that you see are relevant to your future. Perfect. Thank you so much, Asfal, for these really good insights. And I'm sure people watching would probably be able to take away and learn something and reach out to you in the future. So thank you so much for doing this today. It was my pleasure. And uh, thank you so much for having me.